Hello, I'm Tim. I'm Doug. And this is Level of Miscreants Gaming. If you couldn't tell, we are about to play, or I'm about to play Destiny 2. There's currently an event going on, and I kind of want to continue, and we wanted to record, so I figured middle ground. Mm -hmm. I'll play and get what I want, and Doug will ask questions the same way I asked questions about Zelda when that playthrough was yeah, going through. I've never played <laughs> or even seen playthrough of Destiny. I well, know it's a bungee game, and it involves shooting guns. That's about it. It's very first-person RPG. Like, you can customize your character to its own extent. Right. You have extended abilities re representing the uh, uh, elementals and stuff like that. And you have three classes that you can choose from, as well as three races that you could be. So it's very trifecta mm -hmm. in representing the game. So you could be a, a titan... A warlock or a hunter, of which skills are specific. Okay. As well as you could be a BN Awoken, which is an uh, alien race of enlightened beings. Mm -hmm. Arguably enlightened beings. Um, I don't remember what the mechs are. Like robotic warriors. And then you could be human. And you can customize your characters accordingly. I've made all three, so I have my setups. All of which are skill specific to nothing else other than their setup. So like... The awoken or human affects nothing, right? Like at all. Mm -hmm. It's just a custom. It's just a visual feature. So because I'm the highest, and because it'll make it easier, I'll do my titan, and we'll see how that looks momentarily. Like you get the the blue light, the blue level 419, 412, and 547 is your light level, which is affected by your gear and weapons and such like that. Right. And they all have set stats. Okay. Now, I'm not great at games, but damn it if this isn't fun. I very much favor auto rifles, shotguns, and rocket launchers. Hmm. Very simplistic in how I like to kill things. Very high damage. Also, the Actium War Rig is an, uh, you can only wield one weapon exotic and one uh, gear exotic at a time. You can so only wear one. The yellows are the exotics? The yellows are exotics, purples are legendary, green and blues are just bullshit at that point. The Actium War Rig, the reason I love it so much is it auto loads your auto rifles as you're firing there's one auto rifle that's a 10 barrel gauntlet uh the sweet business mm -hmm. it holds 999 bullets and you just pin the trigger it loads 10 every two seconds uh the titan specifically has a skill that holds a half half shield about hip height if you duck if you crouch behind it and uh, left trigger to aim, mm -hmm. you just fire and it auto it automatically reloads. Paired with Actium War Rig, it literally never runs out of bullets until the shield disappears. So you just keep firing bullets and it's constantly at 99 for the bar for the barrel. Nice. So it never stops. This new exotic, the Cerberus plus one, what is a Cerberus? Three hundred dog. So plus one. Four. Four barrel auto rifle. Four barrel auto rifle that constantly reloads itself. Plus the auto reloading. But for the most part, there's stuff like this. So this weekly uh, event is a flashpoint. And you basically just commit to events on the planet and kill stuff and do stuff and whatever. There's patrols, there's adventures, there's... You can do the main missions that they technically count. Um, but the more you get, you get a... The, the more you finish, you get powerful gear. Powerful gear is a guarantee plus to your light level. The goal is to get to 600. So you gain a bonus for everything that you get. And the best part about it is I'm the lowest on our team that we have right now. Yeah. So I play with the other guy from our work, mm -hmm. and he uh, he's 600 on all of his characters, or close enough to it, 590 plus. This DLC's been out for about a month, and you... Boost up to 500 to 600. So you can get up to 600 because of Forsaken that was released mm -hmm. almost a month ago. Hmm. I've barely touched 550. And I've been playing about the exact same amount of time. I mean, I work full time, so it's a little different. But damn, this game is <laughs> damn fun. So, oh, there we go. So this is Mars. This is the planet of the Warmind DLC. 5% uh, active on Mars. What's nearby? I should probably activate my Mars uh, ghost to find stuff better. Heroic adventure, I could probably do that. 
Heroic is the difficulty increase to uh, the main missions alongside certain stuff. As you can see, my connection's not great. This is why everything's taking so damn long to load. Mm -hmm. So I need Hella's Basin. Combo detector. Yay! Chests and resources. You can infuse more powerful uh, gear into weaker gear that you want to keep. So, like, if I had sweet business at 350 and I wanted it at 600, I can get something at 600 and put sweet business to that number by infusing it. But you need resources and uh, money and stuff like that. So if you like the look of a weapon or something like that, you could... Like the gear of it or whatever, and you want to keep it, uh -huh. and you want that one to be more powerful, that's how you do it. You can transfer the... Yep. Light level. With that. That's uh, cool. Void kills, precision kills. Good hunting. That's one thing that I always... Oh, I can do that. Yeah, Thanks, that's good. Sorry. Found kind of annoying about, like visual gear based RPGs where like the gear you're wearing physically changes your character is like only only visual changes is where it gets problematic well the ones that visually change like it's what the, you can physically see what you're wielding is that sometimes I like the way this thing looks but it's yep. super low uh -huh. level uh -huh. I, I wish I could just transfer the stats from one thing to another and there, there's a lot of games that do that but there's some that don't it's like what if I want to look like I'm just wearing rags but have the best armor. I'm like I'm a god tier <laughs> enemy for most people. I don't know it's just like I find this game very fun. It can get it, the first one got very repetitive. I mean, I only played it when the final collection came out. So it's like all after all the DLC, they released a collection mm -hmm. for for retail price for price, for games so like six, at, at sixty. That was when I started playing it. I was just like, oh, this is actually really good and has a lot to do. This game came out, beat it in two weeks for all three characters. Kind of bored. Kind of don't have much else to do right now. I mean, the first DLC didn't come out for another two months, and then the next one after that, three months later. Mm -hmm. It's been about a year now. So the Forsaken came out a year after the game came out. So there wasn't much to do. The game came out in November. I didn't I, after I beat the story for one character for my Titan, which I've mained so far. I don't think I played it again until April, the next that following so year. So like, now right now I'm doing a heroic difficulty mission. So let's see how range. bad this is. At redoing the difficulty of. Oh no. There's levels of enemies like the main story. There's a uh, there's a villain, Gaul, and he takes over the city, and kills a lot of people, and you lose your powers from the first game, which is basically like a God of War reset at that point. Mm -hmm. Like oh, just you so happen to lose all your abilities, which is why. You uh you have nothing. Like, it puts you down to base level. You play for a little bit. You have to be careful of how you die. And, uh... Oh, I gotta go this way. And you, uh... You get new abilities. That's why all of these are all new. And that's why like, more keep coming out. So they can just trigger more of them with the new DLCs. Which I guess they really wanted to do. There's a chart here. It's gonna take me this way. So, is this game meant to be played solo? Or is it meant to be played in a squad of three? Certain missions dictate a squad of, uh, all missions can be done in a squad of three you can free roam a planet i think a planet can only hold up to 10 players at a time given per server um and each area loads in as as is there's a new game mode that was added for teams of 4v4 uh pvp matches are 4v4 or 6v6 raids are 6 pve so mm -hmm. you have six players versus whatever the raid is. Playing with three people, depending on the light level balance, will drastically change the difficulty. Okay, like, so it scales it to mid. It, it's, having, it's averages. But it scales it to having more more players. Yes, it scales the difficulty up, but it adds an average in which everybody can participate. Like the person lowest at three hundred and the person highest at six hundred. The 300 will still do damage fairly enough in which that they could participate in killing and proceeding through the game. But not but so much that 600's just wipe the damn everything. floor. There's one facility. task called the Nightfall. It's a Nightfall Strike. Mm -hmm. It's a strike event, like a, a strike where you uh, swat of three. I gotta blow this up. A squad of three, and you go against a strike basic, but on a basically heroic tier uh, difficulty. It boosts it a lot with difficulty range. I at 520 and a friend at 
550. I was shooting enemies, and that little damage counter right there uh -huh. would say immune. I did zero percentage damage, so I couldn't participate at all. So he had to carry me through everything. And you were only like ball. 30 points off from yep. each other? 30 light points off. I couldn't do any damage. That seems extreme for... Well, it's also a heroic damage set. He was not doing good damage either, mm -hmm. but he was doing a lot more than I was. And once he got to a higher light level, he was playing a lot more than I was because work and, you know, adult stuff. But, um... Is, is the light level not, like, a linear thing where, like... It doesn't level you up. You you have levels. Level max was... Uh, uh, that's not what I mean, but, like, one point of light level is, like, super significant, but, like... Not detrimental. Not it's detrimental? It's significant, but not or detrimental. Or is it more significant at these higher levels? So, like... Yes. Somebody being... That, that makes more sense. 530 versus 531, that 531 is significantly stronger? Yes. To, compared to the, somebody the, who's and being... The PvE would be uh, balanced. Or, what about, or like, somebody averaged. who is light level 50 versus 51? Is that, like, a smaller difference yes very much so well 50 is kind of a representative because the that's what you start at basically but like if somebody was 50 and somebody was 51 they had one more point would that just be like no no difference but somebody no, who not is my much. 350 and 351 is like massive difference yes it, it huh. more so more so because of the hundred ranges um the higher you get into the hundreds the more screwed you are when it comes to s scaling like pvp they downgrade all of that all of that is moot. You do percentage-based damages. So, like, if you have a certain weapon, it has a percentage base, not a light level base. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So everybody, I, I, everybody's pretty balanced, and it's yes. more about There scaling. are weapons that will wipe the floor with people. The Cerberus Plus One is a god roll on a baseline. Like, no matter what it has, it's going to be better than what the other person has. The only reason I say that was, again, I was in a PvP. We were in what it's known as Crucible. You, uh... You go against players. It was I was with the buddy, and then the other four uh, p people on our team against the other six. Um, turns out I'm not good at Crucible, and I've never been good at Crucible. I just I, I can't kill people very well. Mm -hmm. Not well enough to you know, participate accurately. Rolled into my first Crucible game with the Cerberus Plus One. Uh, it wasn't fair because I was top of the board for the first half of the game. And then for most of the rest of the game, I was second roll. I was I was uh, second level. And that does not happen with me, ever. I don't think it ever will again, unless I have the Cerberus Plus One. Mm. And I also don't know if you've noticed, I don't think I've reloaded yet. I might be wrong about that, though. I think I have to go into scale. I don't know if I've seen a reload animation, no. Let's see if I can get one. So, oh, I'm setting an ambush. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. I'm going to wait for this thing to come in, and then I kill everything. So these are all explosive. You just laid a, I just laid a trap for the Cabal. Mm -hmm. The Cabal work for Gaul. I was trying to get to that. Uh, the main story of the game is Gaul attacks the city, kills everybody, does a bunch of bullshit. You have to go against them. The Red Legion, which are Cabal aliens. Uh, they're like little worms that take over a living source. The head is just the worm. Everything else is tech for the body, mm -hmm. I, I think is the way they explained it. Could be wrong about that. But damn if they don't look cool. They're the bigger enemies. There's levels of the enemies. There's a basic Legionnaire, which is a simple shooter. Like, n no boost to what they can do. Sometimes you count it as a grenade launcher. That's a Legionnaire right there. There's uh, Scions, which have psychic-based abilities. Uh, phalanxes that have uh, shields. Mm -hmm. uh, Colossus, which has a massive grenade launching weapon. Uh, and a... There's one or two other ones I can't exactly remember off the top of my head. In interceptor ships. I think we might see a Colossus in this mission. Yep. The boost ability I have, I just threw a grenade. It's a, I don't think it was a scatter, I think it was a attaching grenade. It blows up, when it blows up an enemy, it lights them on fire and lights any enemies nearby on fire as well. I don't think you can fire fast enough to Oh, well, there we go. Um, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I, it reloads I was watching three the number, every two like... seconds. Plus, it fires four bullets at a time. So every one bullet is technically four. Hmm. Yeah, I was watching the number. I'm like, all right, it's going down. Nope, it's back up. It's nope, coming back it's up. It's back up. Yeah. Nope, it's, it's back great. up. I, 
utterly love that combo. When it's sweet business, it's bad, dude. I love the sweet business Actium War Rig combo system. I used that for the entirety of the main game. When I first had, you first time the, I got sweet business, that was the only thing right I now? No, this is the, the Actium War Rig, when I got that, I've had this since. Hmm. Uh, I've infused it a few times. This is a Colossus. This is an asshole. The, the yellow enemies are epic enemies. Mm -hmm. uh, they're given names. Ah, shit, I gotta start over. Probably shouldn't have done that now that I realized. There's no re. The, 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 usually the boss is a non respawn en enemy, so you don't respawn, you have to start over. So now I have to start back to where he spawned or where the uh, simple checkpoint trigger is. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit smarter this time. Well, you, you have sweet business equipped, right? Like no, you, you no, can no, switch no. to it? No, I don't. Oh. It's an it's an exotic. Uh, it takes up the primary spot, which is what takes up the sweet the Cerberus. Oh. It's too low for me to use accurately and effectively. As you can see right now, I'm doing about 400 damage. Like if they're farther away, I do 100. If I got closer, hopefully if I don't blow up, do about 400, 500 damage, mm -hmm. give or take. Uh. Especially in a crit, so like 200 damage right about there. And this is heroic, so that's doing pretty damage. Uh, decent. But even with everything else, like... The sweet business would only be doing like 99 damage at the light level it's at. I think it's like 357 or something like that. Which is not great. Especially if everything else I have is at 500, because it averages your basic light level. Which sets what the enemies are. Oh. Uh, so you could put lower gear on and still do this mission. Kind of, but that lower weapon gear would make it harder by a lot. Oh, I shouldn't be standing here. And I'm going to use my super for this one. I think if I'm right... No, 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 no. Okay, 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 come on. Wait, I'll do this. Nope, I got to get up the rock. I got to get up the rock. Get up there. Stop shooting, please. Thank you. See how fast it reloads? Imagine that with 10 rotating barrels at the same speed. You're gonna I'm die gonna again. die again. You should uh, I died. not blow yourself up. Let's try to blow him up before I landed so that I could land in a safe space. That is the exact opposite of what happened. Now, wouldn't it be smart to just stay behind cover? And Sometimes. peek out and shoot when he stops shooting you? He doesn't stop shooting often. <laughs> also, there's a little bit of an audio detriment right now. But, like, just as a given, there's, like, a layout to how some of these work out. Like, the missions shouldn't usually take that long. Like, the grenade and the self, the, the, there's, you see the three little squares on the bottom left where the yellow bar is. Right. The, Those are your abilities? The one on the right is the half shield, so if I activate the half shield by holding this button, it triggers from that square. The leftmost is the uh, grenade, and the right is, that's in front of me, isn't it? Threw it at the shield. I'm an idiot. Mm. See? Told you I wasn't the great at the game. I usually don't die this much. Usually don't. But uh, the middle one is a melee ability. The melee ability for this one is a charge. So I have I have to be running for the trigger. See the white marks around the, the, the white speed marks around the screen? Yeah. That means the ability will activate if I hit the button. So I'll do this. I hit them with the hammer, and they get a uh, melting point which is basically any attack for a certain amount of time while they're burning mm -hmm. is a uh, crit. If you use that, and then your super, if you use it with a team, you um, you use the melting point, and everybody uses their supers, and then you crit the boss, and then you just wipe the floor with them, which is what most people have been doing for the... Uh, the, the that's the main strategy most used for what's going on right now is the uh, event, the holiday event. The, uh, the two that they've been doing is the Festival of the Lost, which is Halloween-based. So you get, like, paper mache masks of characters in the game. Uh, let's do this. Hey, rocket launcher. Forgot I had these. Very often don't use my secondary weapon. It's their primary weapon. Those are, so there's the kinetic weapon, which doesn't have an elemental representation. It's just kinetic. It's mm -hmm. just bullets. Uh, secondary and third weapon are elemental. So there's the energy weapon is a secondary, and power weapon is a third. Power weapon can only be a um, grenade launcher, 
rocket launcher, uh, what's known as a fusion rifle, and a sword. And they all have their elemental base, so they do that elemental damage. So the shotgun is a void weapon, uh, and the rocket launcher is an arc weapon, which is lightning. Mm -hmm. Where's that other guy? Is he right in front of me? Oh, he's right here. Where'd he go? He's behind a rock. Nope, not anymore. I burned him up. What's the super for this one? Oh, I throw hammers. That's right. I, I remember now. Whoever's in charge. Let's do this. I throw hammers and they explode. Oh, see, that was better. I should have done that from the beginning. Yeah, that probably would have worked, huh? Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. <laughs> there's a weapon... Uh, there's an exotic energy weapon. I'm uh, not pulling the name off the top of my head, but it's a grenade launch. It's basically an auto-rifle grenade launcher where it, it, it tracks. So the grenades track. It's solar, and it ignores those shields. So it does fire damage through those shields of those specific enemies. Which is, uh... It's really good when you suck at shooting the shields. Come on, little buddy. I want to shoot you in the face. And now you're dead. Is that it? Am I done? Did I kill everything? I killed everything! That should be and then ammo, ammo drops from enemies and stuff like that. Excellent work. But some of the RPG elements are not... Uh, not commanding and affecting the game much. Like, you level up to 50, and then that's your baseline. You do gain XP, and then you get... Uh, you get... Uh, bright engrams, which give you, like, emotes or shaders, which change the colors of your gear and weapons. You get... Sometimes you get sparrows, which you ride on, which is a uh, speed weapon. The uh, speed rideable or or ships mm -hmm. which can also be exotic as well as sparrows some of the emotes are like nonsense it's mostly so, it's mostly dance references and stuff like that what do you get out of doing this mission i got powerful gear so i think i got scatterhorn greaves or there it is right there scatterhorn greaves so at 544 i just bumped to 554 on those on that piece of armor is it actually better than what you had though yes so 554 Sniper Rifle Dexterity and Auto Rifle Scavenger. Scavenger has more uh, ammo drop for that type of uh, weapon. Mm -hmm. And I believe Sniper Rifle Dexterity is handling, which I can also change some of them. Faster aiming, faster ADS for sniper rifles. Uh, ability cooldown, I'll do that. And drop chance for primary ammo, I'll do that one. So you can change most of them on more powerful. So that one I just got because it was powerful gear was at 554. The one I had was at 544. Once everything is at 600, my baseline will be at 600, which makes, like, the rating system change. So, uh, this is the map of the area. I'll go to destinations. So, these are the other planets you can go to. There's the EDZ, which is Earth. Hellas Basin, which is Mars, is a war mind. Mm -hmm. This is the Osiris planet Mercury. Io, which is a moon of Mercury, or moon of uh, Jupiter. Titan... Moon of Jupiter, or Saturn, moon, moon of Saturn. All water planet, oddly enough. You play on an oil rig. It's very strange. Huh. Um, so, next time, what are we going to do? Next time, we'll do the event. Let's go do that. Let's do that next episode and see how bad I do with that for 10, 15 minutes. That'll be great. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching me die multiple times. Oh, he's doing an emote. Look at that. It's cute. He's dancing. Hey. Let's dance with so him. That's another player. I'm going to awaken a war mind with a computer here. It's very evident to myself, isn't it? With mm. how my setup is and everything else. Yay! So that's a player. That's a player. That's a player. That's a player. That right there is a public event. So maybe I'll go do that next time. We'll see how it goes. Why don't you uh, <laughs> fail horribly? Yay!